Hello, in today's video I'm going to give you a practical demonstration of one of the techniques that I talked about in a previous video, which you can see here. If your device doesn't do that, there'll be a link in there, which is putting yourself under pressure in solo routines. So if that's of interest, stay tuned. Okay, so as I said in the introduction, we're going to be talking about putting yourself under pressure. And in a moment, I'm going to be doing the exercise. So let's make sure that we understand what's happening. First of all, I've just finished my 45 minute, 2000 shot solo routine. I'm tired. I mean, I'm not out of breath, but you can see that I've been sweating and my arm and shoulder feels as though it's done a lot of work. For me, 2000 shots is a lot of hard work. So I've come to the end of the training session, but I've got one small thing that I want to do. Just like in a real game, where is it that you could lose your concentration? At the end of the game. So at the end of my training session, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some routines on the front of the court, and I'm going to pretend that the score is eight all in the field. I must not make a mistake in this routine. If I make a mistake in the routine, I lose the point. That's how I'm going to imagine it. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the view slightly and then go to the front of the court and overdub what's happening. So remember, the score is eight all. I'm tired. I've got to keep my concentration. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I want you to do is to take it seriously. So bounce the ball as if you're about to serve. Now, the first exercise is just straight volleys. In this particular case, I was trying to hit the ball between the uh, cut line and the line that's along this particular court. Helps me keep my focus. Now, my footwork isn't great, but nowadays people often play off the wrong foot. Here, I'm going from, you know, side wall to front wall, side wall to front wall. Again, I'm not too worried about my technique because it's all about concentration in this exercise. Hit it too close to the wall and it'll go in the wrong direction. Now here, I'm looking to go as quickly as possible. I'm almost looking to make a mistake. I'm not hitting soft shots to myself. I need to be putting myself under pressure and straight away into the corner. Again, front wall, side wall. If you hit it too close to the corner, it'll come almost directly to your body. Too wide and it'll be hard to reach. And then finish with backhand straights. The tighter you can hit the ball, the better. And there we go, I missed it. So for the rest of the points, I've doubled up the speed. Obviously, I can't hit it this fast in reality. You'll notice that I start on the side that I finish and I take it seriously again. I'm starting this exercise as if it was a point. And that's really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to concentrate as if it was a point. I don't want to just be hitting the balls. If I make a mistake, I've lost that point. A couple of times there, I've missed hit it. It's gone in a funny direction. I have to recover. It's very important to try and keep that concentration. And there we go. I managed to win that point. All right, take a break. Start again. <clears throat> oh, I nearly lost it there. Just kept it going. Same exercise. Now, you can do any type of exercise that you want. Anything that will last a few moments. As I mentioned sort of in the introduction and I mentioned at the end, I only did 20 of these because for the video you don't want to be seeing me hitting like 60 of them. But I can guarantee that if you do 60, when you get to the end of that 60, you're really going to be thinking that you're going to make a mistake. It's the pressure. Off we go again. As I mentioned earlier, it's not so much about technique into the corners. Straight volleys, you can really work on your technique, but here, it's just about the rhythm, concentration, watching the ball. Now in this particular one, I did way more than 20. And into the corner, I'm starting to get nervous now. Not very nervous, because it's only 20, but I guarantee if I were doing 100 of these with no mistakes, I would be very nervous. And there we go, 20 shots. All right, there we go. So I managed to win this particular one. I think I was quite lucky. I made a mistake at the beginning. Now, I, I hit a couple of forehands when I should have been going forehand and backhand. And you can decide when you do it, is that a mistake? Is that like a loss of a point? And I did like 25 um, uh, quarter front volleys when I should have only done 20. So again, you can decide whether that's a mistake. The idea is put yourself under pressure. Put yourself under pressure and it will help you concentrate. Especially at the end of a training session when you're very tired. Give it a try, you don't have to do those. I mean, I did 20, you can do 60, whatever you feel is a, a good number. Um, for the video, 20 seems about right. So that's it. Got any questions? Don't hesitate to ask, of course. I answer all of the comments that I can. And remember, do something every 
single day to improve his profit. See ya!